Hello everyone, nice to see you again in uh, the exact same place. Um, the weather has cooled off quite a lot because all day it was raining and it still is. Finally we get some some cool weather uh, which I don't have to tell you how valuable I think this is uh, in this intense heat wave that we're having right now. Lately I've been in a um, in a mood for Shepras, uh, and this is quite true because uh, lately I um, I don't know they just piqued my curiosity um, again and again and um, it's not to say that I haven't always liked Shepras. I am sure that Shepra is one of my favorite if not my favorite um, way of making a perfume ever but today we are going to talk about a, another good very good Shepra and that's an understatement uh, which is Cristal Cristal from Chanel and after I filmed this video I have Two other Shepras I want to talk about, um, but I feel that Cristal deserves its own video uh, because this is such a beauty. I'm sure you know by now that Cristal has been um, discontinued in all of its forms. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Cristal was available in EDT. Uh, in another EDT which was called Cristal Overt and this one is Cristal Eau de Parfum um, but I have to mention this I have to say this um, Cristal is very different is wildly different from um, I, w I don't want to say flanker to flanker because that wouldn't be necessarily true at all but from variant to variant so the EDT is very different um, EDP is very different and of course Overt is quite quite different um, I don't have all of them I only have the EDP um, and you have to because the differences between them I think they are attributed to the fact that they weren't thought as thought of as um, being the same fragrance so the EDT was the first um, that's been launched it was launched in the 70s it, it was uh, done by Henri Robert it is a wonderful green galbanum fragrance that I just I loved um, I uh, all of them are, are discontinued now but you can still find them I'm pretty sure if you if if these happen to be your favorite scents I'm pretty sure you can still find them quite decently priced there's a reason why I'm talking about um, Cristal because um, as always <laughs> uh, it traces <laughs> It, it traces down to to me in an airport <laughs> so again this summer um, uh, when I was returning from Spain I was in an airport and um, I had the chance to smell them finally side by side um, and I loved all of them and uh, the reason why I got the EDP and not the EDT or Overt um, is because I think I think I liked the EDP the most but in order to explain this I think I'll have to go into the fragrance itself to see maybe to explain how this smells because this this will, will be a bit difficult because I think that Cristal and all its variants is one of the um, most misinterpreted fragrances in terms of notes and descriptions that you may find online that I've ever seen in a fragrance. The EDT was launched in the 70s, it was done by Henri Robert um, and it has almost nothing, almost nothing to do 
well, maybe for the, with the exception of the idea, uh, with the EDP, which was done um, by Jacques Pauge, and it was released in the 90s, in 1993. Um, and it shows they are fragrances from two very different uh, decades. Um, but when it comes to Chanel, I don't think it matters all that much, um, especially for the EDT, um, because for the EDP, I think I think it shows. I think it shows its decade um, quite a bit. If not, uh, if it doesn't show uh, the '90s, it definitely shows a bit of the '80s. So let's get a blotter and get our nose on this beautiful fragrance with this beautiful um, quite typical Chanel bottle which is very lovely um, I don't have many Chanel fragrances I don't have many Chanel bottles um, in my collection I think this is my fourth Chanel because I have uh, Anteos, I have uh, number 19, um, and I have Coromandel from Les Exclusives. Because the bottles of Chanel are not that, diffi uh, are not that different from one another, they have um, um, certain bottle models that they use. So already I am getting whiffs of this beautiful beautiful scent but I've said this too too many times so what I'm smelling here right now is this huge galbanum that kind of runs well it, it is true it runs through all of the variations of this fragrance um, and curiously enough I don't see galbanum listed all that much in the notes but to my nose, it's very present. It's there. Normally, I would have gone for the EDT, of course. And I do recommend, if I've never smelled um, anything from this line, from Crystal line before, do start with the EDT because it's a piece of history. I think it's just is the name right it's called Cristal and it is a very green fragrance it doesn't remind me of anything particularly crystalline but it has this sheen this way of reflecting light because it's very fresh it's very almost like almost like glass right it's the way of of reflecting light just like because it's very green I liken it to an emerald more than a crystal um, and also because it's very multifaceted I think I think those are the ideas that make me um, want to think of a crystal but it's it's a bit of a stretch of imagination because I think Oh my, um, I think that the EDT, which is a very special fragrance, um, I think the EDT is created as... Uh, this is so difficult because I want to say it's created with the architecture of an eau de cologne, but that's not true. Again, this is a fragrance that's very difficult to describe. But imagine something that's made sort of in the idea of an EDT, uh, of, a, of an eau de cologne, uh, which is very fresh, um, but with more with the inclinations of a chipre, which is citrusy green and everything tonic, everything fresh, everything just hyper everything it's it's hyper green that fragrance um, so normally I would have gone with the EDT 
but just because I happen to have in my collection I happen to have a wonderful fragrance that is Parfum d'Empire Corsica Fu uh, Furiosa which is another bomb it's another green bomb of a fragrance and I think I, I think Corsica F Furiosa is quite inspired by um, Chanel Cristal. I think it. I think it's quite true. Um, I I didn't get the EDT, but also um, because I when I smelled the EDP, I found traces, ideas from the eau de toilette, and. This, uh, this EDP, the Eau de Parfum, just hit me a lot closer to home, to what I um, want in a fragrance and what I want in a Chanel fragrance, which is that oomph, that um, woody fullness, elegance, which is to me a Chanel fragrance. And this EDP, this Crystal EDP, which is again from the 90s, um, I think has quite a lot of. Um, so what I'm smelling besides that very, very green galbanum, I'm smelling these very difficult to define fruity notes which I know from the description are supposed to be this melon peach but I'm not sure I'm not sure because um, it's definitely fruity so it's definitely that fruity thing but just like with Mitsuko another great abstract fruity Shepra it's not it it's not it so if you want to go um, simple descriptive yes you can say melon peach I, and you wouldn't be you wouldn't be wrong but I think that that galbanum which is also not true because it's galbanum vetiver galbanum vetiver oak moss which is a lot of green it's a lot of earthy it's a lot of sweetness it's a lot of because all of them are very um, complex notes in themselves. Vetiver is very complex. It has sweetish, floral, um, fruity undertones as well. Galbanum as well. Galbanum has that um, very green, but to me, I can recognize galbanum because to me it reminds me of fresh um, pea pod when you break apart a pea it's this exact smell to my nose um, the smell of galbanum and this is what crystal has but funnily enough this is what's happening on the um, on the blotter because on the skin the story is a lot more different because as it is right now on this piece of paper I think it's quite close to the idea of the EDT but when I spray it on my skin this is when things get a lot more interesting and when I say interesting I mean interesting in the sense of the lower side of a sheep more earthy more woody I swear that there's some sandalwood in there I swear there's some iris in there iris in its earthy form again this Crystal EDP might as well be Chanel's most earthy fragrance. Um, and it's such a shame it's been discontinued. Because 
it's not it's not that oak mossy well it is but it's not that oak mossy and that uh, it's not animalic at all uh, like Antaeus. Antaeus is very earthy as well but it, I find that it's the the animalic notes that give Antaeus its uh, olfactory difference, its imprint, its uniqueness. Now Crystal is a lot more delicate. Crystal is well a lot more crystalline it's a lot more it's clearer it's it's not dirty earthy right it's it's clean earthy if that makes sense imagine everything um earthy that you might take from iris oak moss um vetiver and galbanum and if you just refine them into just clear see-through notes very delicate and this is crystal i found it uh, described as a floral shepra i found it described as a fruity shepra and i i think it's true for both of them it's a, it's a fruity shepra yes it's a floral shepra yes but i find that it's not enough to describe crystal crystal is just crystal <laughs> there's those are just aspects so when you say it's um, floral I think it's because of um, this rosy elang which is very very interesting um, but I swear there's also some sandalwood in this and this is to me this combination of iris sandalwood powdery notes bitter bitter sweet um notes is what it's i think this is a staple of chanel i'm not sure um but to my nose, this is what makes it a Chanel. And there's that beautiful jasmine that also reminds me of um, Chanel number no. five, of course. There's a lot of elements through this crystal that just integrates it um, into the Chanel portfolio. And again, <laughs> this is this is very. Um, it's very sad that it's discontinued um, and I find that this because all of these elements are well they're present but they're less so uh, well at least to my nose they're less present in the EDT because the EDT is just more concentrated on the green aspect of it all this is a lot more grounded it's a uh, the eau de parfum is a lot more earthy rounded grounded um, all the aspects are just amped up because this is a big perfume <laughs> this is a big perfume from um from the decade from i think it reminds me more um of the 80s of the um, big bombastic fragrances that are so um i don't know present present in that period but i think also early 90s I think also early 90s is quite um, quite true quite true for crystal as well if you've never smelled anything from this uh, line go for the EDT try it go for Auvert which is even more green if that makes sense it, that one is quite beautiful it's quite a part Auvert as well um, if you of course if you want a piece of history go for the edt um but if you want a fragrance that's just it 
just has it all has the idea of the EDT but just brings so much more to the table so much this EDP was just exquisitely done in my opinion and this is why I went for it this is why I got the eau de parfum and oh my goodness this is also the because it's a thing that Sheepers do in my opinion a Sheeper fragrance to me is the epitome of freshness but it's also about this unequaled unparalleled elegance when I whenever I wear or I smell a Sheeper fragrance I think of pure utter cleanliness elegance everything just um sartorial yes this is the word sartorial perfection whenever i smell a sheeper fragrance because and also whenever i smell a sheeper fragrance it's about um con because sheepers are all about contrasts um it's about standing out whenever i smell a sheeper it's about standing out it's about being different it's about um not falling in line it's about uh, also i think it's a it's a bit about courage it's about audacity um and i think all of these are characteristics of crystal EDP so this is why I think it's very difficult to explain what crystal EDP smells like or crystal um, in any variant smells like um, and this is why I think it's very misinterpreted in all the um, um, lists I've seen online because crystal is so much more than a mere description and for the i don't know four or fifth time this is such a shame and it's been discontinued do you need this fragrance i don't know that it's up to you to decide um i i i wouldn't know what to say it's up to you to decide truly but at least give it a smell if you can find it anywhere and i'm pretty sure because i just smelt it in a perfume shop in, in in an airport um maybe just a month ago so you can still find it um and it it was discounted as well and it's still dec decently price priced so as a fragrance lover i think i think you owe it to yourself to at least try crystal yeah so we have some sun which is also very optimistic and i think it's because crystal is also about light it's not just about freshness but it's also about light yeah okay so these were my impressions on crystal or the parfum from chanel um if you have any other questions do let me know in the comments and until next time remember fragrance creates memories and may yours be happy